Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in New York getting ready for the Big East Tournament. And we're excited because this will be a Big East Tournament where it's the return of my brother, the big man, to Madison Square Garden, Georgetown Hoyas, here in Madison Square Garden for the Big East Tournament. Patrick Ewing, the head coach of Georgetown Hoyas, is here. How are you, my brother? I'm good, Mark. I'm good. good Great to be back up in the Big Apple. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I, I think you've had a successful season. How do you feel about the season? Well, you know, uh, it's not over. Well, the season's over, but I'm, I'm concentrating about the Big East. So, you know, when while you're going through it, you can't, you know, sit back and reflect yet. It's not time to reflect. Yeah. You know, we still have a, a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. And, but, I mean, the team has gotten better as the year has gone on, don't you think? We've, getting, we've gotten a lot better, but, you know, we still have a lot of work to, a lot of work to do. Yeah, we've, we gave away some games that I thought that we should have won. But it's still it's still a growing process. Yeah, well, as I've told you, you know, some losses still look good. We want to win them all. <laughs> but I'll be honest, y'all look really good. The ball is moving. This is a big game Wednesday night. You're back in the garden against your old rival St. John's <laughs> and Chris Muller. I mean, who could have scripted a more dramatic story? Yeah, you know, um, we're here playing against uh, my old rival, my old friend. Uh, and Chris, uh, we're both fighting uh, to see who's going to move on. <laughs> right. it's, it's, it should be a, a great game, you know. And this is a, this is a new season. Um, yeah, it is. So what happened in the, in, in the regular season, it, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, you know that's the same sim similar situation that happened in Villanova, you know, against Villanova back in, in 85. We beat them three out of the... Three out of the uh, two out of the three, the three right. times that we played them, and then unfortunately we lost to them in the championship game. But so the guys, they have to be confident. They have to play hard and uh, not, you know, making uh, the fewest mistakes that they possibly can. But St. John's is a is a very a very good team. They have a lot of depth, a lot of talent, and they're very well coached. So we're gonna have to come out and and play hard and play. Uh, uh, bring our A game if we want to win that game. Speaking of two out of three, you beat St. John's twice. Twice. And then all of a sudden, do you think you made them better? Because then they became giant killers. They beat, <laughs> what, Duke and uh, 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 Villanova. So you think you made them a little bit better or something? Well, uh, you, they're, they're a very talented team. And, you know, whatever needed to be done, they, they was able to tweak some things and was able to get the victories that they needed to do. And when we played them, we always thought that they were a very good team. Then they, then, then they were able to get those, those wins that they needed to get. Uh, now they, they feel uh, much better than they did when we were playing. In terms of where they're playing now, will you be able to use much of the same approach that you did the first two games when you look at tweaking some things yourself? With we're we're going to tweak it. We're going to tweak some things, but you have to, you have to do what you've been doing all along. You can't change up right now. So we'll play the same brand of ball, but we'll uh, throw some different things in there. We, you know, we can't give all our stuff away, right. but we'll throw some different things in there. Just, just, just they will do the same. Uh, I'm not sure if Pods is going to be playing, uh, you know, but whoever they put on the floor, we just have to make sure that we bring our A game and do all the things uh, that we can do to, our, to, our, to, our, to the best of our abilities and make sure that when the, when the game ends, We'll, we'll be the one that's uh, celebrating. You mentioned some, Patrick, some of the mistakes. Obviously, unfortunately, one of the ones we always get named for is turnover. Right. But doing a little bit better, don't you think? We're doing a lot better yeah. in, in turning it over. We're not turning it over as much as we had been in the early part, in the early stages of the game. And uh, one another thing that we have to do better is in which we, we, we lost some games by not, by not doing it is coming up with the big rebounds at the end of the game. Uh, early in the year, we, 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 we weren't getting them. Then there, were, when, uh, there was a stage where we, we started to get them, and then we kind of slipped again. So we, we're going to have to do a better job, especially in, the, in this tournament if we want to win. In the rebound department. Seems like somebody we usually know <laughs> used to always say you can shoot too much, <laughs> pass too much, and rebound too much. I mean, and dribble too much, but you can't rebound, can't rebound too, much. too much. We know who said that. Yes, we uh, do. <laughs> so, um, you know, no, that is very, very important. Um, speaking of that person, Big John, um, what impact has he had on 
in your first season as head coach. And I know this is your team and you coach the team, but you never deny his influence. What oh, impact never, has he had? Uh, he's always there. He's always the person that if I need advice, I can always pick up the phone or or go over, you know, at practice, go over to the sideline and sit down and talk to him. Yeah. You know, so he's always been a father figure, a friend, a uh, confidant that, you know, I will never deny uh, that, you know, he's somebody that I look up to. And, you know, he's part of my coaching uh, tree. Uh, you know, he, 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 either you have Coach Thompson, you have a lot of other people that I, that I look up to and then call, but he's definitely a huge uh, influence on me. Yes. Um, some criticism because of the schedule. And it was actually a very similar schedule to the one you used to play when you right. were a student in Georgetown. What, what do you think about that? Do you think that criticism is really fair? Because I think it, it is a bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark, I don't care about, about the criticism. I've been criticized. Uh, there's been criticism uh, with me in my whole life. You know, all I care about is the, is, the, is the end product. They criticized me when I was playing that our, our schedule was 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 uh, soft or whatever. But we was always we played in three final fours. Yeah. Uh, went to the last game, uh, three of those, uh, uh, three, of the, three out of the four, uh, my four years. So it's all about the end product. Yeah. And if we had played better in the games that I would mention about that we we gave away, you know, they 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 wouldn't be talking, uh, uh, saying the same thing that right. they're they're saying. So I'm not worried about what they're saying. All I'm worried about is getting my team better and improving them and. Uh, letting our record at the end of my tenure speak for itself. And I'll be honest with you, I see a very similar trajectory to what we saw back in the day when we played a similar schedule, and it's a build-up. There's right. a gradual increase right. in the talent and the experience, and it shows in those games while they were close. That's what I'm saying. Those are some of the exciting game, most exciting games college basketball has seen this year. I know one thing, if it was just based on ratings, you know, y'all y'all be in the tournament. We be in the tournament, you know. Right. It's all it's, to me it's all about learning. You know, yeah. I have to yeah. they had to learn what I expect out of them, learn my new system and all that and all of that. But at the end of the day, you know, they're still learning, they're still growing, and we'll see what happens next year and the year after. Um it's just been next year, I just do want to ask you about one person, Mac McClung, <laughs> who has become the the modern day human highlight reel. And then there was a coach hollering him the other day, said, you're not going to play at Georgetown, you're going to sit. And he said, I'm starting, he scored 44 points. <laughs> so, I mean, I love that. yeah. You, I love that. So that, he's, he's, he's going to be something, isn't he? I, 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 I believe that, that's okay. why I recruited him. Yeah. That's why I recruited him. I love the fact that he has, he has grit. He's not going to take uh, blank from, from everybody. That's, you know, when I, when I saw that, um, that highlight, I, I made sure I called him up that next day. And I said, that's one of the reasons why I recruit him. Yeah. You're not going to take, a, uh, I don't know if I can say it on, on the air, but you're not going to say he's take shit from anybody. <laughs> that's right. You know, you're right. Gonna, you know you, and, and the thing is, he goes out there and back, and back it up. Yeah. You know, I love that about him. Yeah. You know, he has fire, he has grit, he goes out there and, and plays hard and shows everybody that he is not just, you know, a, a, a dunker. He goes out and plays. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, that's He's a hoy. <laughs> He's a hoy. And we, we look forward to that. Lastly, what does it feel like when you walk in, in the garden? I mean, it's kind of be interesting. You've been a boy in the garden, star. You've been a Nick in the garden. I mean, that's your house. But what does it feel like walking back in there? What's it going to feel like Wednesday night? It's home. You know, yeah. I, I feel blessed that I have a few places that I can call home. You know, D.C. is definitely home. It, 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 it's one of the places that it started. And, you know, uh, and, you know, New York is definitely home. It's the mecca. It's the place that I, I played 15 years in the NBA in my common college. And it's home. It's the place where I have my number in the rafter. That's right. And I can remember, you know, playing against St. John this year. You know, hearing uh, the St. John's crowd yelling, and you know, Patrick, it's so hard to to hate you. you <laughs> right, know, right, right, right. <laughs> because when I was when I was just uh, when I was a play, when I was playing for Georgetown, they hated me. But you know, now that I I'm, I played 15 years for the Knicks, and you know, all that hate hate that they had for me back then uh, changed, and now I'm back coaching for for Georgetown, 
they're like, oh, I, I want to hate you so bad, but I can't. Right, right, right. And they can't hate you. Right. I was noticing at the game. That's what it was like. <laughs> Patrick Ewing, uh, ladies and Patrick, good luck. I appreciate it. Wednesday, man. We'll see you at the garden. It's going to be something, brother. Okay. I appreciate you having me on. All right, man. My pleasure. All right. Thank you.